Okay, so now let's talk about reservation price. So what does it mean? Very simple. Reservation price is the maximum price or the highest amount of money an agent is willing to pay for the public good. That sentence, so let me repeat, a reservation price is the maximum price, the highest amount of money an agent is willing to pay for the public good. So that means a price higher than reservation price is something that the agent is not willing to pay for the public good. Okay? Uh, so what does that mean? It's like having or not having the public good. So if the price is about, or if the contribution that the agent should, should make is higher than his or her reservation price, well, then he actually prefers not to have the public good at all. All right. So therefore, when it comes to calculating reservation price, we basically need to compare agents' utility functions under two scenarios. In scenario one, the agent doesn't have the public good. And in scenario two, agent does have the public good. Okay? So I'm going to explain in detail, but in order to calculate the reservation price of an agent, well, we first need to pick an agent. Right? So let's say I'm going to calculate the reservation price of agent one. Everything is going to work uh, same for agent two, obviously. So here I have to compare his utility function, all right, in two scenarios. In the first scenario, as I said, no public good, okay? So he doesn't uh, want to pay for the public good. So it's like, for its existence, I don't want to pay for it. And then his utility under, I mean, if the public good, oops, public good, all right, so the public good exists, public good exists, and the public good doesn't, all right, so no public good. So if there is no public good, what's going to be his utility function? Well, his utility function, remember, depends on two things, uh, whether there is a public good or not, and how much she spends on the private consumption. Well, we already said there's no public good in this scenario, so is G equals to zero. And well, she can, that means she doesn't have to spend any money on, right? I mean, if there is no public good, why are you spending in money on public good? It's like, it, it makes no sense. So basically spend all your wealth on the public, uh, on the private consumption. All right, so basically your X1 is equal to W1. Well, what if there is a public good, all right? G equals uh, one. All right, so now there's a public good. Well, the thing is though, I would like to spend all my money on the public good. It's uh, on, 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 on private consumption, okay? But the thing is, what I know is that if the agent one consumes the same amount of money on private consumption, this utility that he has the public good versus he doesn't have the public good, this utility will be higher because the utility function is increasing, remember? So the thing is, we are looking for um, some contribution. So you know what? I already gave you the public good, let's say, but now in return, I am asking some money, all right? So, how much money are you willing to give me? Uh, well, zero. I don't want to give you nothing. Uh, okay. But the thing is, I want you to give some money. Well, the thing is, the more money the agent one is going to give, all right, so G1, the more money, the, the higher the G1, the private consumption, the higher the G1, the private consumption will decrease. So this utility will decrease. All right. Well, it's going to decrease, but it's, it cannot be lower than this, right? Because you know what? Forget about the public good. If, if there is no public good, this is the lowest utility that I, 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 I know I can achieve. So I, I never use the public good and I spend all my money on my private consumption. So that's sort of my baseline utility. So if you give me the public good, my utility will jump, 
But the thing is, now you're s subtracting some money from my private consumption. So unfortunately, this utility, by subtracting more and more and more money, you, you basically pull my utility level at most, I mean, up until to this baseline level. You can't drag me lower than this. Because in that case, I can just say, oh, screw you, I'm not going to use the public good at all. All right? So that's my baseline utility. So you know what? What we say, let's call, so G1 is all the prices, but I am willing to find, I'm not, I'm willing to, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the maximum price the agent is willing to pay. So let's call it R, uh, well, um, R1 is the, the max price the agent one is willing to pay. All right, so here basically R1 is greater than or equal to any G1. So therefore, if you want, so R1 is the reservation price, all right? Reservation uh, price for agent one. So the reservation price for agent one, therefore, should satisfy um, this utility equals, oops, oops, I'm sorry. This utility, U1, W1, G equals zero, all right? So this utility is equal to this utility when this G1 is equal to R1, all right? So this is the highest price I am willing to pay for the, I am willing to pay for the um, public good. If you exceed more, so if you increase the price above R1, well, what's going to happen, the utility is going to be lower than this. And this utility lower than this means is like, well, you gave me the public good. So G is equal to one, but you subtracted so much money from me. My utility is going to be is, is lower than my baseline utility, which I know I can always get uh, by not consuming your public good. All right, so therefore R1 is the maximum price. And this maximum, to find the maximum price, we basically set these e utilities equal. Okay, I hope that was clear. So the agent two, exactly the same thing, in order to calculate her reservation price, her wealth minus her reservation price, which basically tells us her uh, private consumption when she has the public good, her utility, should be equal to her utility level and when she doesn't spend any money on the public good because there is no public good, all right? So this baseline utility is exactly equal to this utility. Well, that R2, which satisfying the, this equality is gonna be the reservation price for agent two, okay? Uh, so it seems like the video is already long enough. So let's pause here. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about how we use this concept of reservation price to explain or talk about whether a project is efficient or not. Okay.